2020 and the stories will tell, huh? How about telling some of the stories on video? Keep watching to learn more. I have been obsessed with film since I was three years old. I have lots of experience in the corporate marketing video world. I started working in video production in 1995. <laughs> I don't think there's a single human being on this planet who's had a good 2020, so. You know, this is true, but I like to hashtag focus on the positive. So I will say that 2020 was a really challenging year and so many great things came out of it and I think a lot of great things will continue to come out of it. First of all, yes, thank God it's over. I think we all needed a date to like put this particular, I mean, I, if you think back to the day, that Tuesday or that Friday, Friday the 13th when like we heard, you know, low key, about, I don't think that's the right use of low key, but we'd heard about the coronavirus, but you hear about these things all the time. And it wasn't until like the whole world is shut down and oh my God, what does that look like? And we had a lot of big shoots get canceled. And I think we had big shoots get canceled. We had clients not be able to finish their contracts with us. We had, um, you know, just a massive, paradigm shift in terms of how we even see the world. I mean, look at the video that we're shooting right now. You both have masks on, per the law. And I think that that's now the norm. I was just watching another bit of Ted. I was just watching Emily in Paris, which is a Netflix show. And I kept thinking like, where are their masks? They're just gallivanting around Paris. Where are their masks? And that's something that I just feel like we're forever changed by. And I do think that there is still gonna be some really incredible, beautiful stories to tell as a result of it. I think one of our best stories is that we, we were not at stay at home yet. It was Friday the 13th where it was, you know, March Madness was canceled, it was really bad. And we started thinking, you know, what are we gonna do? We had all these shoots get canceled, but Video Marketing 101 is one of our, um, you know, workshops that we taught live and it wasn't something we did a ton of, but we did it enough and we wanted to scale it in some way and we made it work in, what, five days? that we said, let's get together, let's shoot Video Marketing 101, let's make that an online course. And that has made a ton possible. We've had people take the course, create videos through it, make their own online products and start to live in this post-pandemic world. I think we're gonna see a lot of art. I think we're gonna see a lot of, um, you know, really great stories about human resilience, about healthcare, about, governments about all kinds of stuff. So I think, thank God 2020 is over and let's watch for the awesome stories. It's not exactly what I was gonna do, but I took a hard left turn. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah, positive. I am always hashtag focused on the positive. I just look to see the human resilience that comes out of so much of this and how much good change is gonna be as a result of this. You know, sometimes the worst, what do they say, the darkest hour is just before dawn.